Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be talking about the secret Samsung diagnostic menu that you're able to use on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you don't miss future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out everything I've uploaded so far for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. To activate the Samsung Diagnostic menu, you do want to go inside of your dialing pad, type in star pound zero star pound. And when you type that in, it'll take you to a screen similar to this. Now, I do want to give a heads up if you are from a different country, or maybe if you are using, I believe, Verizon, there's a few different countries and carriers that use a different diagnostic tool than the normal stock Samsung Diagnostic menu. So if you type in star pound zero star pound, and it does not work, that just means that your phone is not able to do this diagnostic menu and there's other options but if you are able to use this menu a couple things you are able to test is checking out the red so if you feel like there might be a dead pixel that is happening on your screen you are able to find it if it's going to be a red uh, maybe a green or blue and one of the ways to get out of it is by tapping in terms of these colors here tapping on the screen some of the other menus you do have to have to type in the back button and some of them is also a power button now if you want to check out your receiver it's going to play a small sound on the very top, making sure that the receiver works. If you feel like your vibration or the vibrator in your phone is not working, this is a way that you are able to test it. So if you're talking to a store rep or you're talking to somebody, maybe even Samsung on their um, Samsung Cares or Samsung Plus, and you tell them, hey, I tested the vibration of the phone, it definitely does not work. You can also check out your camera. One of my favorite tabs inside of the diagnostic menu is going to be sensor. This is a place you're able to test all the sensors inside your phone, the heart rate monitor, your fingerprint test. If you think that your fingerprint reader doesn't work, you are able to actually test it. You can check out the gyroscope. You can check out moving your phone left or right, making sure everything is correct with all the accesses. Um, your proximity sensor as well too. So it's able to pick up you know, where your fingers or where the um, an object is of the proximity sensor. So if you put your phone up to your ear and you're inside of a phone call and your screen does not dim, then either number one, you turn on that, that setting to where it doesn't turn off when you're in, a, in the phone call and it's up to your ear. Or maybe it could be your proximity sensor. It just doesn't pick up that it's touching your head so it's not going to turn off the screen one of the fun ones here is the altitude you're able to check out high how high you are inside of a flight if you're inside of an airplane uh, and you do want to hit on the back button twice to get out of that uh, sensor tab you can also check out your touch so if you feel like there's an area on your phone that doesn't really have a good touch sensitivity um, actually the only way of getting out of this is by highlighting all of these little squares. So once you go through here, and there is also a menu because it's a note that you are able to also test the S Pen as well. Um, now, before you get out of this entire thing by highlighting all of this, the uh, little squares or rectangles, you can make sure that everything else works good there in the middle. And once you have it all highlighted, it's gonna get you out. The next tab is testing your speaker. So when you hit this one once, it'll play sound from both speakers. You hit it again, it'll play it from one. You hit it one more time, it'll play it on the other. So here's an example. So that was both of them. That was the bottom speaker. And that was the top speaker. You can also check out your sub key, check out your front camera, the grip sensor, which is something that is on the sides of the phone. Uh, you can also test your LED. So that's red, green, blue. So if one of those colors don't work, this is a place you'd be able to test and show, hey, this doesn't really work. Um, you can also test out this like sensor hub test. Uh, the Hall IC, you can test your S Pen, the MLC, MST test, which is for payments, your Iris test, if you want to check out your Iris. And then you'd also be able to test out your black screen. And in order to get out of this one, you can't really use, you know, tap on the screen anywhere. There's no back button. This one is by hitting on the power button. And then to fully get out of this application, you want to hit on this back button about two or three times and it'll get you back to your home screen. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. If you've learned something that's brand new, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button. You can actually hit on that subscribe button right over here in the very bottom left-hand side, that little red circle. Make sure you guys share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And outside of that, I'll see you guys later.